Hi, I'm Tony Caridi with Avid at NAM 2012 in Anaheim, California. I'm here with the one and only Tony Maserati. How are you? I'm great. Thanks. Thanks for having me. <laughs> great to be here with you. Um, Tony's working, you're working on a new Jason Mraz record. There's already a single out that was number, number one. one? ITunes. Number one iTunes. Yeah. That's awesome. So tell me, um, how's the production process going? What are you using? What are you excited about? Uh, well, as you know, I, I've been using the uh, HDX card and the new Pro Tools 10. And, um, and I've been using it actually the whole album. So it's been quite thrilling. We're working in 96, uh, uh, Joe Ciccarelli produced and uh, perfectly recorded, basically. Um, so it, it, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's allowed me ultimate uh, creativity. So I got two questions for you. One, you're working in 96, so are, I think you have one HDX card or two? I'm using, I have two. I, I, so far, we haven't had a need for two until this week. I finally, just this week, we're, you know, because some of the mixes are in their, you know, 10th revision, um, that we're finally, you know, incrementing more plugins and instantiations that we need uh, more DSP. So I've got to install a second card now. So, yeah, that was my first question. You're working at 96K. You're just just breaking the threshold of needing more than one card, so that's very, very cool. It speaks a lot to the power of the card. Uh, and, and secondly, overall sound quality. So you're working at 96K, you're in a completely floating point processing environment, you're using AX plugins, probably some RTAS plugins at the same time. Are you hearing anything coming from your older TDM system? Um, you know, I'm hearing a lot of things uh, that, and, and I'm sure a lot of your audience will know this, when you first when you first encounter a new a, a new thing a new sound you don't really know what to do with it because you've been used to working in a certain way I'm used to twisting a knob and getting something out of it that's a particular thing now it, it's changed I, I can do more I can experiment in different ways with combining things uh, so I'm still learning it but I have to admit I what I like about it is I feel like I've expanded the possibilities, both sonically, uh, uh, dynamic range, um, and, and, you know, that, that's always better. I mean, for me to be able to grab a fader and move it and get more out of it or, you know, combine uh, uh, certain things, and in my old system I would feel the ceiling coming down on me, you know, and we all know where that ceiling is. Um, because we work so much, in this case, it's more it's more expansive, and and for that, I'm very thankful. Well, great! It sounds like it's enabling your creativity and letting you uh, go beyond what you were doing before. So we're very excited. Do we have a, a name for the album? Oh my God! You know, I, am I putting you on the spot? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. You know, the, the interesting thing is, I'm not sure. I think they had, they just came up with a name. And and it's one of, you know it's one of those things where they'll they'll float the name by everybody. What do, what do you think about this name? And I just I I just, I just never thought that I would be included in in the name choice. So so I, I to be honest with you, it went in one ear and out the other because I was like, oh, you mean I have to think about that too? Because I'm I'm so deep in trying to the expanding find. roles of the uh, engineer, producer, everything, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, well, whatever the name of the record is, the next, the forthcoming Jason Mraz record is going to be uh, completely mixed in with HTX. So we're excited to hear it. I'm sure it's going to sound awesome. And uh, thanks so much for joining us here at thanks for having me. at Nam. Thanks, and thanks for joining us online here. If you have any questions, uh, tweet us at, at Avid, and uh, we'll see you online.